right now, uh, there's been minor injuries reported. Um, a broken leg has been the, the most serious thing that uh, emergency or that emergency services has, has had to deal with. Um, there's been one person transported to uh, Duke Hospital, two to Fort Saskatchewan, and one to an Edmonton hospital. So right now, the cleanup crews and uh, tow trucks are just in the process of removing vehicles from the ditches of the highway and getting rid of, getting rid of some debris. and I looked up and there was a guy in the middle of the highway with a, he was stopped and he uh, pretty much to me he was stopped and he said he was moving and he was pulling over so you know because he couldn't see and all I saw was his tail lights and then my, my hood buckling up. When something like this happens I guess we can't stress enough that unless it's imperative that you go out on the highways then then to uh, then we'd recommend that you stay home. It is a fortunate situation that we're dealing with the the uh, minor nature of injuries that we are. What do you recommend to drivers who run into fog like that? Uh, number one is slow down. Um, you can't when you can't see where you're going like that. Um, you have to slow down. We're attributing the uh, the severity of some of the collisions and the fact that they were in minor that they were minor in nature to the fact that people did slow down.